as an Alaskan, I'm a big fan of your of your last album, Polar Suite. And I know you're in Jakarta now working on a new album, and that seems like a long way from here. And I'm curious to know more about it. It's uh, very different here in uh, every way. The climate is different, it's hot. Uh, the culture, of course, and uh, the music. And it allows me to explore some new areas, particularly in terms of uh, instruments. In Asia, there's an incredible variety of wind, string, and percussive instruments that are they're very new to me. And uh, to name a few, on my new album, Lotus Dreams, I'm using the Jizi flute, the Chinese zither, the shao, the guzheng, the erhu, um, the shakuhachi, and of course the gamelan. But, uh, you know, there are also um, common elements. Um, it's, um, I use the Armenian duduk again. I use that in uh, Polar Suite, and I'm using it here again, just because it conveys this sense of loneliness that I think is just beautiful. It is a longing sound. Um, and, and all of these instruments sound really interesting, and the instruments sound very exciting. Do you play any of them or record them? So ha tell me how that works. Um, well, I produce my music electronically. Um, I travel a lot, and while I would love to play them all, it's kind of impossible uh, to try to uh, have sufficient time to play them to play them right. When I'm on the road, I take a keyboard, my laptop, and I have uh, an extensive library of musical sounds from around the world. I talk to people. I gather stories. I'm always interested in different cultures and their stories and legends and their music. And that forms part of my inspiration. In many ways, I see with my ears as much as my eyes. And um, when that's all done, I go into my mobile studio and translate it all into music. So of the instruments that you used on your new album, Lotus Dreams, which is your favorite? Well, that's a tough question. But um, I, think, I think it's the erhu or what uh, some call the Chinese violin. I love the sound of this, uh, this beautiful instrument that reminds me of the female voice and its ability to express calm and tender and sonorous melodies. But also I would have to mention the gamelan, partly because it's such a big part of Indonesia where I am right now. It's a completely fascinating musical world unto itself. And uh, many composers, including Debussy, Satie, Bartok, and Philip Glass, have used the gamelan to influence their work. Would you say the music you're producing now is a form of East-West uh, fusion? Yeah, I think that's probably true in one sense. But I prefer to think of it more like uh, the Silk Road, a continuum of East and West concepts in a dynamic interplay. In fact, I will have a track dedicated to the Silk Road in this new album, but it's an underlying concept of the whole album. I believe it's possible to mix Eastern and Western music, but it has to be done with sensitivity. It has to be more than just a blend of musical instruments and styles, you know? And then um, lately, I've been exploring a concept of samsara, a Sanskrit word that means wandering or world. It symbolizes sick click circuitous change and it's a direction I want to pursue further in my music. Well I'm excited to hear about this and look forward to hearing the, uh, the entire album. I can't wait for the release. Oh thank you. Thank you.